Hello everybody, this is Joe and uh, I screwed up. I had drawn this picture for the last video, said some huge spew about vultures and whatnot, and it all got destroyed because I don't know. The I transferred the file and the file didn't transfer and uh, I lost everything. So, new drawing. Uh, since I was on the topic of vultures and I had already drawn a couple of vultures, I was thinking a vulture might make a pretty good dragon. So let's try that. This is either going to come out pretty cool or pretty awful. One of those two. But we're going to try it anyway. So I'll begin by scribbling as usual. Vultures have like this kind of hook right here. And then the rest of their beak is like there. So I'm thinking that maybe we could have like the smog thing going on and just have it like smiling. And then right here, give it like a sinister. I'm looking at a tur turkey vulture right here. But I'm thinking about giving it like a sinister kind of leer. Like that. And then of course. Now what they have, the vultures, is they have like these saggy eyelids. It's like a, like kind of like that. So that's what I'm going to give the dragon. I will give him the dr cliche dragon uh, brow though. I like the dragon brow. He's going to be wrinkly like a vulture though. Because vultures are very wrinkly. They're like old men with warts all over them. That's what they look like. If you've never seen a vulture before, they are terrifying looking creatures. <laughs> Just about everybody hates them. But I did pose a question in the last video that never got done because I deleted it by accident. Well, I didn't delete it. It just didn't transfer right and that's what happened. Hopefully this light does not go out on me. This light is motion sensitive. so. If I don't move or I don't look like I'm moving, then the light's just gonna freaking go out and I gotta wave around like an idiot and <laughs> hopefully it comes back on. I feel like I'm just drawing a vulture right now. Let me let me dragonify it. <laughs> Let's see. How do you dragonify a vulture? I guess, uh, I mean, it looked so dragonish already. Let's give him some, a crest, like the, the dragon ish crest. Because that's what I think of when I see dragon. And then we're going to give him the, the wings. I think I might have drawn him too large. He's going to have like... Really big... We'll give him the saggy vulture neck though. That's got to happen. Because... But I did pose a question in the last video that never got published because I accidentally destroyed it. Um, but yeah, and the question was, do vultures actively hunt or do they just scavenge? Are they strictly scavengers or do they actively hunt? Do they hunt their own food? Because I'm thinking there, there was this, this, uh, this situation where I was headed to work and these uh, vultures, like a massive amount of vultures, is crazy. 
um, or all over this bridge that I crossed in order to go to work, like a, like a bunch of them. I don't know how many, but a lot of them were there. And um, I figured something had to have died because I, I think that, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm getting it off of like, my, most of my knowledge about vultures is coming from, from, you know, media, social, well, not social media, but media. You know, what you see on TV and whatnot, that's where most of my knowledge about vultures is coming from. So my guess is that if vultures are gathered in one area like that, something had to have died because that's possibly the only reason why vultures would gather, right? Maybe? I might be wrong. But that's what I'm hoping somebody will tell me. Damn light. There we go. And focus, and we're good. But, um... So, that's what I'm guessing. Is that vultures would only gather for that reason. Otherwise, why would they gather? Right? Right? I might be wrong. Probably going to be wrong. But I did learn that a huge, like, a huge flock of vultures is actually called a committee. I guess they're all having meetings. <laughs> Silly. I know. Stop. I'm not going to. I would promise I won't make that joke again. <laughs> but um, these vultures were all gathered in one huge collective. And it was very, like at first when I saw them, I thought they were crows. And I was like, my God, that's a large crow. <laughs> it was not a crow. They're black vultures. That's why they looked crowish to me and they also have that hunched look like they're crows and they waddle around like they're crows um i feel like i'm just drawing a vulture right now i need to do something to make it dragon dragon vulture let's see let's give him the big old arm thing right here well We'll dragonify this vulture yet. There. Give him these scales. Hopefully they read as scales and not feathers. I'm feeling like my vulture is, uh, or my dragon is looking more vulture than dragon. Like I said, this is either going to turn out really awesome or kind of suck. A little lame. <laughs> I promise nothing. <laughs> I think that maybe my video got messed up because I did not have enough space on the SD card. That's what I'm figuring. So I should probably keep this one just a tad shorter. But yeah. I actually thought that the vultures looked kind of cool, but I learned that people don't like vultures at all. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not, see that's, if, if I knew more about them maybe, because maybe they know, I know they carry a lot of disease, that I do know. They definitely carry disease. But they're kind of like... The sanitation worker of nature, you know? They go around cleaning stuff up, and... I mean, you can't hate something that's just doing his job, right?
that that's how I do dragons apparently. <laughs> I just I just draw spikes on them. Bam, dragon. <laughs> Well, this is about all the time that I have for today, so <laughs> I promise next time I'll draw a better dragon. <laughs> Perhaps in the, I'll, I'll allow myself more room next time. Until next time, this is Joe, this is my scribble, and I'll see you in the next video.